Hi everyone, Steve here from Photoshop Essentials. In this video, I show you how to resize a selection outline without resizing the pixels inside it using the transform selection command in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop 2022, but any recent version will work. And I'll use this image from Adobe Stock. The transform selection command lets you resize and reshape a selection outline without affecting what's inside it. And it works best with geometric selections, the kind we draw with the rectangular or elliptical marquee tool. So I'll select the rectangular marquee tool from the toolbar. I have an entire video on drawing selections with the marquee tools, and you'll find a link in the description. And then I'll drag out an initial selection outline. To show you the difference between the free transform command and transform selection, I'll go up to the edit menu and I'll choose free transform. Photoshop places a transform box and handles around the selection. And because I'm using free transform, if I drag one of the handles, I resize the part of the image I selected. I'll undo that and close free transform by clicking the cancel button in the options bar. To resize just the selection outline itself, go up to the Select menu and choose Transform Selection. Or right-click inside the outline and choose Transform Selection from the menu. Photoshop adds the same transform box and handles that we saw with Free Transform. But this time, when we drag a handle, the outline is resized, but the image stays in place. In the Options bar, the Link icon between the Width and Height fields is active by default, which is why dragging a handle resizes the selection outline with the aspect ratio locked. To unlock it, hold the Shift key on your keyboard as you drag. You can reposition the outline by clicking and dragging inside the Transform box. And you can rotate the outline by dragging just outside it. Hold the Shift key as you drag to rotate the outline in 15 degree increments. To undo your last step, press Ctrl Z on a PC or Command Z on a Mac. And you can press it repeatedly to undo multiple steps. If you right click inside the transform box, you'll find the same options you would have with Free Transform including Skew, Distort, Perspective, and even Warp. But with Transform Selection, these options apply to the selection outline itself. If you choose Skew, you can drag the top or bottom handle left or right to skew the outline horizontally. And if you hold the Alt key on a PC or the Option key on a Mac as you drag, you'll move both handles together in opposite directions. I'll undo that by pressing Ctrl Z or Command Z on a Mac. And you can drag the left or right handle up or down to skew the outline vertically. Again, hold Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac to move both handles together. If you right click and choose Distort, you can drag any of the corner handles on their own. I'll undo that with Ctrl Z or Command Z on a Mac. And if you right click and choose Perspective, then dragging a corner handle horizontally or vertically moves the opposite corner at the same time in the opposite direction. I'll press Ctrl Z or Command Z a few times to undo that. Finally, if you right click and choose Warp, a grid appears in your selection outline. And you can use the grid to warp the outline into different shapes. You can drag any of the corner points, and each point can be moved separately from the others. Or you can drag the direction handles that extend outward from the corner points to bend and curve the outline. And you can even drag the edges of the grid to bend it into shape. If you totally mess things up in warp mode, which is easy to do, just click the reset button in the options bar to reset the grid and start over. Or you can accept your changes and close the transform selection command by clicking the check mark. To undo your changes and restore the original size and shape of your selection outline, go up to the edit menu 
and choose Undo Free Transform Selection. And that's the basics of resizing a selection outline in Photoshop. So let's take what we've learned and do something with it. With this image, I want to reshape my selection outline into a diagonal strip, and then hide everything outside the selection. So I'll right-click inside the outline and choose Transform Selection. Then I'll hold the Shift key on my keyboard to unlock the aspect ratio so I can drag the top and bottom of the outline to the top and bottom of the image. To make it diagonal, I'll right-click inside the box and choose Skew. Then I'll drag the top handle to the right. And while I'm dragging, I'll hold the Alt key on a PC or the Option key on a Mac so the bottom handle moves along with it in the opposite direction. Next, I need to adjust the width of the outline, so I'll drag the side handles. But notice when I drag a handle that it doesn't work, and that's because I'm still in skew mode. So I'll undo that with Ctrl Z or Command Z on a Mac. Then I'll right click and reset Transform Selection back to its default mode, which is Free Transform. And now I can hold the Shift key and drag the side handles to resize it. To accept it and close Transform Selection, I'll click the check mark in the options bar. In the Layers panel, we see the image on the background layer. To hide everything outside the selection outline, all I need to do is click the Add Layer Mask icon. And Photoshop converts the selection outline into a layer mask, which we see in the layer mask thumbnail. The white part of the mask is where the image is still visible, and the black part on either side is where it's hidden. But instead of a transparent background, I want to fill the background with a solid color. So I'll add a solid color fill layer by clicking the New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon and choosing Solid Color. I'll accept the default color for now, which is black, by clicking OK in the color picker. And then I'll drag the fill layer below the image. To change the background color, I'll double click on the fill layer's color swatch. Then instead of choosing a color from the color picker, I'll click on a color in the image to sample it. And once I've found the color I like, I'll click OK. Finally, I want to move the image over to the right. So in the Layers panel, I'll click on the Image layer to make it active. Then I'll select the Move tool from the toolbar. I'll hold the Shift key on my keyboard to make it easier to drag straight across, and then I'll drag the image over to the right, leaving room for some text, a logo, or anything else in the empty space on the left. And there we have it. That's how to resize a selection outline using the Transform Selection command in Photoshop. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel to learn more about Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Steve Patterson from Photoshop Essentials.